Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Artificial intelligence technologies are widely used in various fields, and the database world is no exception. About a year ago, we added AI Assistant to our desktop applications, and with its help, you can generate SQL queries based on prompts written in human language. With our latest release, we've taken it further. You can also use the AI chat mode. Let's talk about it in more detail. Today we'll return to Lewis, the database expert who uses dBeaver for his work tasks and hobbies. He has just discovered the AI chat mode and thinks this feature might be useful for him. Let's take a look at it together. The company boss is preparing for a meeting with potential investors, so he's asked Lewis to help with the data for the presentation. In order to support his boss's presentation by showing the company's current income, Lewis has decided to create a report consisting of information about their customers and all their invoices. To do this, he connects to a corporate database and creates a new SQL script. However, instead of writing an SQL query manually, he clicks on the AI chat tab on the right toolbar. He starts with the first prompt, show all customers and invoices, and presses Control enter to send the message. However, in the AI response, he receives a select query that displays only the data from the customer table. Then Lewis tries to send the following prompt, add invoices. This is not the result he expects. He decides to start over and chooses the clear history option from the drop-down menu near the send button. After thinking a little about the correct wording, he enters the Show All Customers and Their Invoices prompt into a field and clicks Send again. The result of converting the message into an SQL query appears instantly and correctly in the chat. Moreover, Lewis notices that it's possible to execute the query right from the chat by clicking the corresponding button on the right side of the message received from the AI. Lewis can see that the data in the results set is not enough for his report because the purchase amounts are required for the presentation. So, he adds another hint for the AI. Add total of each invoice. Now it looks better. Just a final touch, like adding sorting to make it more convenient to work with the report and to make it easier to show the investors the biggest sales. Sort by total descending. Now that everything's ready, Lewis can keep the result as it is. However, he decides to get rid of the IDs to make the presentation easier to read. This time, he adds the Get Rid of Customer and Invoice ID prompt. Great job, Lewis! All he has to do now is export the result set in a convenient format and email it to the manager. Just as this feature helped Lewis, the AI chat mode can simplify creating your SQL queries. When you use it, you don't need to rewrite your first prompt if the result set turns out to be slightly inaccurate. It's fine to just write any additional messages in the chat, after which you'll receive a ready-made query that you can immediately execute and get a result set. Try this feature for yourself and find out in which cases it can be useful to you. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.